Hello everyone, this is now the Cursed Forest. The first achievement we're going to get is called Early Access. And this guide will be 100% achievements. So pretty much normally one. So this is the first section of the game. Once you get to the campfire, <gasps> just stand on the campfire to get the firefly. Next is called Blah 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 and the tail. So once you find a note, you don't have to find this specific note. Just pick it up and then quickly press the escape button or the close button. Once you've done it correctly, you'll get the blah 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 and the tail. Once you go further on, the um, area starts to get dark and on the right side you'll find like an altar kind of thing to the right side. So pretty much once you get here, just interact with it. Save your game. That's where you get the achievement. Now for this one, all we have to do is jump off from a great height and die. <gasps> so now once we continue on now to the next area, you will find a house. And if you keep following the path to the right, eventually you'll find the map located on the signpost. So there's a house on the left. Go right. And there's your map. Toilet one. In the same location, look left, and there's your toilet. Just stay in it for a few seconds, and you get the achievement. Little fire stop. So for this one, can be a pain in the butt. Well, not really a pain in the butt. So next to the house, you'll find fire. All you have to do is just stand on <gasps> it. That was it. Now we come back later on in the game. Or the level. So for this one, this is called Treat. All we need to do now is go inside the house, grab the carrot. Once you grab the carrot, Go behind the house and go past the scarecrow. Take the right path and you should hopefully go past the save point as well, located to your left. Now once you get closer, you should hopefully see a place where you can put the carrot. This is story related anyway, so can't really miss it. Once you place it down and wait a little while, the achievement will unlock. Now eventually, if you wait here a lot longer, you'll find a bone that comes out. I believe it's part of the story once again, so all you need to do now is just pick up the bone. So the achievement called Wade. So where we found the map number one, and after doing the rabbit section, make sure you do this in this specific order. No big deal if you don't, because you can just reselect the level again. So for the wade, once we go inside the uh, the lake and go grab the bone, like so, then we see like piranhas in the water. So if you go to the far right hand side and stay in the shallow section of the water and go around, this wade achievement should pop up if you don't get attacked. If you get attacked, then you can't do this achievement as far as I know. You have to redo the section over. I could be wrong. So then, from wherever you are, go back into the water and actually get grabbed this time. You won't die. Just get grabbed by the creature. And then you'll get the bait. Now once you've left the area and go back to the save point, and this time jump back in the water for the third time now, and just pretty much die. So the first time you get grabbed, the second time you'll die. So now we're going to go back to the fire that we um, put out not too long ago. 
So go back to where the house is and go to the left side once again and you should now get the achievement called Little Fire Stop. <gasps> so this next one is called Darkway. So from where the scarecrow was, we want to go left. So this will be, I believe, this is the deer route now we're going. So just follow the only way you can. Keep going straight, go left, and then you'll find um, an owl, and then you'll see numbers. If you go into this, Im well not imaginary, but go to inside the invisible wall, to find the combination. So 4037. So now we're going to backtrack slightly. You can either stay on the path or stay in the bushes to the right. Just keep going right and eventually you'll find an opened area here that you can walk into the caves. So now once you get into this location, go upstairs. Do not jump off. You will find another owl location or a butterfly thing. Go through the door or the, the wall and type in the combination that you hopefully remember from the last area. Once you go in, grab the, um, the ball or the ground. Mounting goat. So on the way to the last bone, so this is located in the same area as where we got the last bone. So once we drop down, I'm not too sure if this is story related, but I'm going to add it anyway. So once you um, drop down, or get forced to drop down, then you have to find another way around. Then once, eventually you find another route around, you will get the achievement called Mountain Goat. So I'm going to keep this in here because I'm not too convinced if this is actually story related or not but it could be could be not once you go the correct way you'll get the achievement so section number two the first achievement of the level so once you see a shadow creature do a dive off pretty much do the same thing <laughs> Just jump off, get the achievement. So on your way in the swamp section, once you look at the main... Well, the first save point, you want to go right. Once you see it, once you dived off, head into the swamp. And then that's pretty much that. So you go in the swamps, grab the bone. And then from this angle, you need to go back now and leave the swamps. So on purpose, go into the swamp water to die. <laughs> so now for this one all we have to do for this one is get out of the area I don't think it matters which angle we come out from but if you're about to leave just keep to the right you can go up and over well this is the way I went this is how I got the achievement So now um, we're going to go back to where the save point was, like so, and this time go forward. Once you go forward, you'll find another signpost located near enough in front of the save point. Pick up the map. Now for this one, we'll find an ugly looking picture on the wall, on the rock, sorry. Go into the bushes. And then you'll get the curious. So now later on in the level you'll find a house. And to the right you'll find a fire. Pretty much for this achievement we have to extinguish three fires. So this is number one. So for the bricklayer. Pretty much enter the house. Grab the red brick or the rune, 
to get the achievement. Now once you manage to escape the house, go to the right once you left and you should find the toilets. So once you enter, you'll get the toilet to achievement. Interact with the note, you'll get a jump scare, so to speak. It's not really a jump scare. And you get dragged into the toilet. Now all you have to do here is just get to the exit. There's no special way around it. Just get to the exit, you get your achievement. So this stormy river, I believe, is story related. So once you go in the water and stay to the right, avoiding any rocks that fall that is. So the best way is stay to the right because if you stay to the left or middle you just die. I found that out. And eventually once you get past everything you should get the achievement. And now once we left the water, stay right, you should hopefully see another campfire in the distance. Once again, you need to stand on it to extinguish it. And we can see our scarecrow buddy. <gasps> so once we've done that, we want to follow where the deer went up and go towards the save point. Once we um, interact with the save point, we'll get the achievement for cleaning. So now once we go the only way we can go, you should hopefully see another scary picture or scary drawing on the side of the rocks. This will be the good idea or good spot to actually hide. So once you hear the rumble and you'll see a massive boulder coming at you, go back to where that painting is or drawing is, sorry, and just hide and wait. There could be another spot but I haven't looked. It's the first one I found and it actually worked. So once you reach the very top, you will find another fire. Don't worry, you can't go past it. You'll literally go right past it. And you should hopefully see it on the left. So now all we need to do is just jump on top. And we now should, in theory, get the achievement. So the next achievement is called Ancient Light. So from the last location, in this area here, we will find a scary ghost thing to the left, and to the right we'll find a, a light source, so to speak. So where the, uh, the bone is that you need to collect is part of the story, put the light source onto the holder there, then it will move down its own and you should get the Ancient Light. So this next achievement is miserable, uh, once you see the pillars or the pillars, sorry, the planks get detached from the wall, go onto this um, pole here to get the next achievement. Now, shortly after, we have to descend down to the bottom. At the very, very bottom, you will find there are some apples. Um, it is recommended don't eat all three apples, just eat one, please. If you eat all three, you will die. So just eat the one and then carry on. So section three, eventually, I will say ways into the section three, we will eventually find a house. And once again, we'll find a sign. Once you get closer to the house, you'll get the dark alley achievement. And also you should hopefully be right next to the map. The achievement dark alley may pop somewhere else, but this is where it popped for me. So we get two achievements in one. So this is post plasma after a voiceover. I realized I haven't put this achievement in there. So pretty much after you get the extinguished part, go to the outside. So if you look at the house, go left, go into the toilet, to the achievement. Move on, back to normal. So the extinguisher. In the same area, once again, you'll find a campfire. Simply just stand on the fire. 
Now our next achievement is called Nobody Home. All we have to do is go in the house. I don't think the door is meant to do that. And then once we interact with a few things and start picking up, you'll hear a knock on the door. Do not answer the door and just wait it out. It takes at least three minutes, then you'll get the Nobody Home achievement. Once you go through the door, pick up the rabbit and get trapped in a bear trap and die. You'll get the achievement once again. Once you redo the whole stuff again that you've already done, pick up the uh, the bunny, put on sorry, the counter to the right, answer the door, then go back to the bunny. That is magically now in the painting. I didn't see that just yet now, but I do now. But as soon as you um, look at the painting, you get the achievement. So now, make sure you save the game and move on. So head the only way you can go. You should see a tree and you should hopefully find your good old buddy Scarecrow hanging there next to your next objective. Once you interact with that, you will fall down. This is where you should get the achievement called the uh, Descend. There we go. Lost and found. So as you're continuing on through the area, you'll find the teddy bear. Now the next achievement is pretty simple, but you can miss it. It's called It's a Trap. So once we left the area, and eventually you want to get your bearings and you literally go right past this trap so you could die you could not <laughs> so once you know it's there activate it move back slightly and just wait it out a little bit in theory I just remembered you can actually avoid this by going and taking a shortcut so yes you can actually miss this and a few other things I believe so now you see our fire there in the background let's go extinguish that to get the achievement extinguisher <gasps> there we go so now from the last location carry on as normal go across the bridge There will be a path that goes off to the left hand side, take that and don't go right just yet. Now go the only way you can go, you'll find an altar or a save point to the left and another altar to the right. It's not really an altar really, but either way you'll get the achievement called Evil Twin. So section 4, this is the start of this section 4, so once you drop down Go right, because you can't go left. Go up the stairs, or go up, sorry, to the left. And just carry on. Once you see this trap drop, look to the right to find your next map. And final map should give you two achievements. Map 4 and the final map. So for this achievement, um, it counted as two. But um, there are three fires that you need to, once again, put out. So this is the first one. Next to the save point, go up. <gasps> and from the last location, or oh, sorry, from the location of the save point. Just pretty much head straight and just stay right as much as you can. Just follow the path round. And you should hopefully, hopefully, if you go the right way, run straight into it. And for me, I got the achievement, but uh, since we're still in chapter 4, or section 4, there is another one. So, for the whirlpool. Story related, can't be missed. So you interact with a save point area. Just keep pressing it and eventually it will explode then it takes about a minute or so just to drain all this water once the water's gone you get the achievement
So for the next one, this will be the toilet. Once you find the house, there'll be another house to the left of us that we need to enter anyway. And you'll find the toilet to the right. So, best friends forever. So now go past the house. Um, I would recommend going in the house to grab the rune um, as well. But I don't show me getting it because there's no achievement for it. But I believe it's part of the story anyway, so you can't really miss it or go out of it. Could be wrong. And go towards the dead end to find your teddy bear again. Yay, we did it! So, so much excitement. So for this one will be classical humour. Um, I literally went past the... Um, well, this is achievement. I didn't really see it. So what you have to do is run onto a rake. And it will come up and smack you in the face. <gasps> Once it goes back down, you will get the achievement. So later in section 4, once again we go past the house, but make sure you go in it to grab the um, the rune, I believe inside. I know there's something inside there because I went in there and grabbed it. It's been like 5 days now since um, I played it. So. so once you go the correct way after finishing all your stuff, you'll find number 3 fire. This is when you should get the achievement because this is still section 4. So for the fifth element, there's not much I can really say. Um, eventually you'll find another house. You have to go inside it. You will find a coffin. Inside the coffin, you'll find this next rune. And this will be the fifth element achievement. So section five. This is the start of section five, or not at the very beginning, but uh, this is pretty much the start of it. So eventually, I'm gonna skip ahead now, quite a few bits. So eventually we'll drop down and just keep going down do we get to a, like a, a small lake area down the bottom once you do see that you want to stay to the left and eventually you will find a save point and you may even notice a drawing on the floor so if you just stay to the left activate the save point and then we get it so pretty much um, we tried to backtrack and didn't work. We got the achievement. So for the Fallen Star, not going to say much. Basically, it's part of the story. Uh, it's part of the story. So you interact with the um, the light source. It will drop down from a bird's nest. Then you have to find it where it dropped on the beach. Once you pick it up, you'll get the Fallen Star. So there is the um, the bird nest and the star. So once we interact with it, it will fall down. And now we need to go all the way back down and go find it. So there's not much I can really do here or say. Just follow the video and we can go get our achievement. And if my memory serves me right... The next achievement will be Matchstick, and that is pretty much the only achievement we got left that can be missable. So all in all, this game is pretty damn easy to get 100%. Hopefully the developers don't change the achievements like Shadow Side, so I'm, that's my next one I'm going to do. Have to re-edit all this stuff again and hopefully in order because they changed three achievements. Don't know why they didn't add the achievements and carried them on, but no. 
So eventually, oh, I say eventually, it takes quite a bit of time if you're not sure where you're going. And then eventually, you will find a big fire. Big one. So for this one, it's like the other ones, you still got to die. So jump into the fire to try and put it out like a normal fire, a normal campfire. It doesn't work and you die. So, yeah, and you get the achievement for it. The next one should be the toilet, if memory serves me right or wrong. So once you go past the save fire, or the save fire, the save point, we'll see a house. Don't go in it just yet, stay to the left, you will see a good old buddy scarecrow again, go into the back area and inside the toilet for a few seconds. And ta-da, that's number five. So now we go in the house, find all the necessary parts inside this house, put them down on the floor once you have found every single part, this door will open next to the entrance that we came into the house on the left. We'll find the skull piece inside and that will be the last part. And the final achievement that gains you 100% is called Storm. As far as, as far as I know, this is story related. So once you grab all the runes and then you put all the bodies together and then you're done. Pretty much. See you next time.